Okay, now we're going to be testing scapular abduction and upward rotation, which is going to be the serratus anterior. Now, a lot of times people kind of get lost in the forest when uh, completing uh, manual muscle testing of the scapula. Even if the uh, glenohumeral joint yields, what we are looking at is the scapular motion here. So this is what you have to be paying attention to more so. Not that this is irrelevant, this is totally relevant, but this is what you have to be really focusing on. So we're going to be kind of looking at this and this uh, working together. So when we're testing for the um, scapular abduction and upward rotation is you're, you're looking for, uh, I like to look at the glenoid and when that goes up, that's what you're looking for here. So testing of this is you're going to put the patient at approximately 130 degrees of glenohumeral flexion. All your resistance is going to be applied at the um, distal humerus. So you're going to apply your resistance there and you're going to tell your patient, hold that, don't let me move you. And a grade five is, I'm going to push, 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 hold, 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 hold. Good, is that scapula maintains that position right there. Okay, and now what I'm going to do next is, uh, again, we'll kind of start over. So a grade four is you apply that same resistance at 130 degrees and hold that, don't let me move you. And you're probably not going to see it here, but that scapula may yield a little bit. So it may give away or move toward the opposite of scapular abduction and um, upward rotation, which would be abduction and downward rotation or a combination thereof. Okay, And then a grade three is just having the ability to see the scapula abduct and upward really rotate against no glenohumeral resistance besides the weight of the arm. So go ahead and lift that up to about 130 degrees. So hold it up to that about right there. So go ahead and lift that up there again. Good. And she had really good scapular motion throughout that entire process. Okay, now we're going to move on to a grade two. So all grade two for these tests are going to be, uh, the patient is going to be cradled. And what you're going to do is um, you're going to find that inferior border of the um, scapula. And what you want to be very cautious of is not to provide any resistance or support to that, uh, to that bone um, as you may skew the, uh, the uh, information. So what you're going to do is, what I want you to do is I want you to try to lift your arm and now let it relax. Lift your arm and then let it relax. And what you are feeling for here is making sure that inferior angle is maintaining that position of uh, going into upward rotation and abduction. If it happens to draw toward the midline or the vertebral border at any point, you're going to assign it a grade two minus. A two is going to be if it maintains that position. All right, and now a grade one is again, um, holding the uh, arm above the horizontal at, or at 90 degrees, and you're gonna palpate along that, um, uh, where the serratus anterior runs in the, on this axillary border of the scapula, and try to hold this test position. Now you are gonna support the patient, and you're gonna try to have them hold that position. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And what you're trying to feel for, there, yep, there it is. You're gonna feel for that contractile activity um, at the serratus anterior. And of course, that would be a grade one. A grade zero would be no contractile activity at that point.